and welcome, my name is Frank Fischer. In this video, I would like to show you how you can use the Visual Studio Code extensions of Deep Code to manage the suggestions that Deep Code is showing to you and which not to show to you. So what you can see here is Visual Studio Code and you see I've opened up one of my projects here. And in there we have one of the suggestions. So it says disable X powered by header because it exposes information about the use framework to potential attackers. If I click on it, it brings me to the line of code that this problem exists. And in this, ca in this case here, I have an express um, application and I'm not uh, configuring the express object to um, not show or not unveil the, the, the framework that is used underneath it. But what if I would love, I would like to have this this way. I don't want to change it. I would like to use the standard X, by, X powered by header. So what I can do is I can use this little light bulb here. If I click on it, you see there's ignore this particular suggestion or ignore the suggestion in the current file. And the one means that we are actually switching it off for this particular instance. And this means that it's switched off for the whole file um, and it won't be uh, found in this file anymore. So if I go to this particular instance, what it does is it adds um, a comment on top of it saying deep code ignore, then what it shall be ignoring. And this is express disabled powered by. And here in this part, I have the opportunity to add my own comment. Why do I ignore this here? Why do I release uh, deep code from showing me this vulnerability here? If I add a simple file in front of it like this, um, I'm actually switching to the ignore the whole file thing. So then um, this won't be found in the whole file. If I leave it like this, it's just for the next instance um, of this uh, suggestion. So what I wanted to show you was how to use the Visual Studio uh, code extension of Deep Code to switch on and off suggestions within your code. Thanks for watching, but now it's your turn. Go to deepcode.ai, set up an account and see what Deepcode can do for your code.